Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. This project will lead us to complete demo of using dependency structure for prioritization of functional test shoots under the domain of software engineering. Test case prioritization is the process of ordering the execution of test cases to achieve a certain goal such as increasing the rate of fault deduction. Increasing the rate of fault deduction can provide earlier feedback to system developers. Improving fault fixing activity and ultimately software delivery many existing test case prioritization techniques. Consider that test can be run in any order. However, due to functionality dependencies that may exist between some test cases, that is, one test case must contain executed before another. This is often not the case. In, in this paper, we present a family of test case prioritization techniques that uses the dependency information from a test suit to prioritize the test shoots. The nature of the techniques preserves the dependencies in the test ordering under test and executing complex interactions earlier is likely to increase the fault deduction rate compared to arbitrary test orienting. Empirical evaluations on six systems built towards industry use demonstrate that these techniques increase the rate of fault deduction compared to the rate achieved by the untreated order, random orders and test suits order using existing coarse grind techniques based on function coverage. Next we are going to see the flow of using dependency structure program. For this process, first we need to create the test cases. After this test case generation, we have to computing the dependency structures for each test cases and independent structures for each test cases. This will help us to predicting the dependent level of each test cases. Next we are going to predicting that similarity measure for grouping the test cases. For this similarity measures we have to using that cosine similarity approaches to combine the test cases and computing the similarity measures. After this we computing the threshold value for this similarity measure. Above the similarity measures threshold, we can get the test case as the proper test case. So by using this similarities and threshold value, we have to formulating the test cases into clusters by using the prioritization environment. After this cluster formation, we individually distribute that each clusters to each distributed environment. Yeah, in this each distributed environment, we have to execute the test cases depending upon the priorities. After this, we have to collecting the results from the distributed environment, then generate the testing reports and evaluate the performance of this process. Next, we are going to see the complete demo of this project. In this project, first we need to run the data software.java file. First we need to load the application which is going to be tested. For this one I have to choosing that on Java frame for testing. Next I have to choosing the data set containing the test cases. So this will contain the set of test cases. Next I am going to be assign the IDs for each test cases. Each test case containing the uniq IDs. If I need to add the test cases main, I can able to add. After providing the test cases, click the add button to add the test cases. So it will be added as new test cases. Next I have to compute the dependency structure between these test cases. After this I need to compute the DSP weight matrix. 
then DSP volume. This is are used to prioritize the test cases. Finally, I have to compute the DSP weights. So that's showing that each test cases weights according to the prioritization. Using these weights, I have to prioritize the test cases for their execution. After this, I need to creating the distributed environment for testing the test cases. For this one, I have to running the cluster node. For creating the distributed environment, remove all existing connection from the network. From enable the receiving, then click the receive request. In this option, we will providing that cluster node to that original execution platform. After this, we have to saving that execution node to the testing platform. Then get the number of environment. We can able to add multiple environment through this frame. Next, we providing that computing that cosine similarities. This cosine similarities will showing that similarity between the each test cases. It will showing the matrix n cross n n representing that number of test cases. After this, we have to computing the threshold value for that similarity measures. Here we have to creating that one distributed environment. That's why it containing that number as one. Next, we have to applying that clusters. So after we clustering, we move to the grouping the document. For this one, I have to creating that one folder named yyy. So it will containing the testing scenarios. Next, I have to put the clusters. Next, I have to providing that test cases to the distributed environment. For this one, I have to selecting that distributed environment system IP. Then move to that distributed environment and click the receive application option. Then back to the main system and send the application at first. After getting that message, your file in server side successfully. We move to that cluster node and receive test cases. Then we have to sending the test cases to the distributed environment. After we getting this, we have to get the number of test cases submitted to this cluster node. Then click next. Then we have to computing the testing scenario. It will showing the testing results of each test cases. After this, we move to that main system and click next for receiving that results. For this one, first we have to getting the IP for that main system and we have to showing that retrieved result as 0, remaining results will be 1. For this one, representing that one cluster will need to submit the results to this system. For this one, we have to clicking that receive results option, then move to that main page and we have to sending the testing results to distributed systems. After receiving your file received message server side successfully, the retrieved results will change as 1 and its meaning results will change as 0. In this one will showing that integrated results. Then click next. After this will showing that testing results. In this showing that success and failure ratio between that testing scenarios. From this one we have to concluding that we have to executing the test cases using the priority structures in distributed environment while reducing that computational time and increasing the successing rate of the t execution and reducing that fault rate. Thanks for watching.